Welcome back to another creature design video. I am super excited to do another challenge with you guys and let's see what kind of animals we get. So you might hear in my voice that I am <laughs> kind of congested. I have a cold currently and I could wait and film this later in the week, but I'm feeling kind of okay and it's better just to do it now rather than later in case I get more sick. <laughs> but I'll, uh, I'll spare you all the sniffling and huffing and coughing and I will edit that out. But just so you know, I am currently sick. So if this doesn't turn out very well, that is why. I also thought I would share the three creature cards that we have so far and these are available through my Patreon. Each month uh, my patrons get a new creature card uh, based on the animal that we're going to do today and uh, they're always changing a little bit because I'm learning how to print them but I am pretty excited. We have the Arctic Sea Ball, we have the English Sheepdog and we have the Crustacean Phoenix uh, and thank you guys so much for all the name suggestions, they were all amazing and all the backstories and stuff was incredible so thank you guys so much for all that inspiration um, and also thank you so much to the person who came up with the name, I'll put your name here and let's get to the next creature card and creature and I'm kind of worried and kind of excited I hope we get something aquatic themed so that I can actually do something that is connected to mermaids because that's what I've been doing all this month First one we get is raccoon. Actually, that's really fun. And um, pangolin. <laughs> Please get something water. I've gotten two water before, but axolotl. Yes, we did get <laughs> aquatic animal. Okay, this is going to be incredibly cute. Uh, I I already know I'm going to use the raccoon tail. I already know I'm going to use the pangolin scales, and I know I'm going to use little flurry things to the axolotl. I think it's its gills. I'm going to check that. But yeah, let's do some sketches and let's uh, get going. As always, if you want to join me in this creation, you can now pause the video and start sketching your own mix of raccoon, pangolin and axolotl. And uh, please use these handles on social media for me to find them and I will feature your creation, your creature in the next creature video which happens each month now. And I'm going to feature last month's creatures at the end of this video. So I'm super excited about showing all of those, there are quite a few. Let's get sketching. Also, you might I hear me exclaim uh, woohoo at some point because I am currently 70 subscribers away from 100k and it's been a big milestone of mine for so long and I have to thank you guys so much for coming over to my channel to say hi and be creative with me and yeah you guys are just amazing and thank you guys so so much for all your support I just I'm having a blast making all these draw with me videos oh I can't talk too long because I get really warm <laughs> Oh, let's find references. Raccoon. Oh, baby, hello. <laughs> uh. Also, I've been loving pangolins for a long time now, and I'm pretty sure they're endangered, so I will put another information link to how to support that animal. I didn't do that for the last month. Um, I think it was the... The vaquitas, so they are endangered and there's only like a few of them left on this planet so please go check out the links that I'll put down below for any creatures that are endangered and need some support and safety. Axolotl. They're like creepy but not that creepy and they're kind of adorable at the same time. Let's do some sketches. Let's do some sketches. We always like to do sketches. What did I do with the last sketch? I can't remember. Where are you, Vakita thing? Okay, just some few sketches, we'll do that. The same thing, um, although I kind of already know what I'm going to do with this guy. He looks like a little panda. I didn't know they looked that similar. Maybe I'm just making it look similar, but... So just like a little bump, like here. They come down like here. Oh, everything's so buckly because I've been drawing all the pages. 
as you would know if you're following me on uh, my Twitch or on my Instagram. I'm currently doing Mermaid, uh, which means I am doing a lot of sketching and painting in a sketchbook. Um, I could have done it on separate pieces of paper, but it's more fun doing it in one sketchbook. I've been having some trouble though, so I have parch parchment paper in here now to kind of like help the pieces that are a little bit in the danger, danger zone. Trying to understand them, and I have studied these like pangolins before, and I'm still confused over how all the scale works and where the mouth and everything goes. I might actually use the face of the pangolin, and I quite like it. It's kind of weird and different. I have a coffee to make me feel better. <laughs> oh, I have a check. <gasps> 43! This is like a countdown while doing a creature video. Smart idea! <laughs> you know, it really makes me happy, so, so happy that you guys are enjoying my draw with me and creature designs because they are truly like, those are the two of my favorite videos to make. They're fun, they're relaxing, and um, yeah, you guys seem to really enjoy them. So uh, thank you for that. And I'm not doing it right. <laughs> Cute bean. Okay, axolotl. I like little dragons. Can you tell that I'm not sketching this guy realistically? <laughs> I seriously don't know how to draw these guys like realistically because <laughs> they're so just so goofy so we definitely know what kind of body type we have like a chubby chubby thing okay so we have a little bit more space down here where we can sketch um our design usually i should probably spend more time trying to do that on the whole page but i kind of also just want to go with it so i kind of i know that i want a round body because we already have that from all the animals. I love the raccoons kind of chunk them into skinny grabby feet. Let's do it quite rounded. And then I know I want the raccoon tail. How can I not want the raccoon tail? Okay. Face, face, face. I think we're doing a snout. I don't think we're doing a flat face. I think we'll put webs on the feet so it kind of makes sense. I don't think any of them have webs, but we'll imagine that the axolotl does, because I can't imagine it not having it. <laughs> I'm imagining this like an underwater niffler, okay? <laughs> Leave me be, I think it's adorable. Like it's searching for trash. <laughs> well, algae, maybe it's eating algae with his little tongue. Is there algae eating things? I think snails eat algae, right? And all the scales are like heavy and weighing it down so that I can go to the bottom of the whatever it's in. Okay, I'm already loving it. I don't <laughs> I don't need anything else. This is this is love. I'm not gonna lie, I'm already done. I'm already sold. This is what we're doing. <laughs> I don't know if it's because I'm sick or if I'm just very sure about this, but we're doing it. <laughs> I would recommend if you're doing a some sort of a, of a big like environment with a lot of creatures and characters, maybe think about the design a little bit more. For me, I just want to make a cute creature right now. <laughs> kind of going down. And then chunky body. Hmm. What kind of a nose those frogs have? Not that I'm gonna mix it in, but I feel like he needs nostrils, but they can't look like... I think frogs just have holes. Oh my god, it's at 70! <gasps> <laughs> I'm kind of loving him! <laughs> I might make them round because I feel like it. Because my aim is not to make them these creatures realistic. They're they're just fun creatures from my kind of universe. 
So for me, if I have like unrealistic <laughs> scales or whatever, I don't, I don't mind too much. I think most people that saw this creature uh, design would most likely guess right that is a axolotl, but I don't think they can guess the other, the other ones. Cute. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited to call this. You bet it's going to be like pink. <laughs> Definitely pink. I don't know if I should use a dark color for the scales. We have to think that out. Oh my god, there's only like <laughs> uh, 13 left. I'm gonna watch this uh, counter <laughs> for a little bit. And we will get back to drawing once I hit 100k because oh my god, I can't believe this happened. Holy and moly, we are at 9991. <laughs> kind of afraid that it, it'll just shoot up. Oh my god, it's so close. Oh, it went down again. <laughs> I guess somebody didn't want to be subscribed, or they're waiting to be number 100,000. That might be it. I will I will choose to believe that. <laughs> okay, it's gone up a little bit now. <laughs> Just waiting for those final ones. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> god, thank you guys so much for just everything. You're amazing. Oh, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> Let's get back to our little creature and since I have you on my stand now I think we will leave it on the stand and uh, do some line art. As always people will wonder what I'm using for line art and I'm using a Faber Castell Jumbo 8B pencil. So it's really 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 soft and I have to be careful not to go over my lines again with my sweaty hands. <laughs> I think I need to put this on silent because I think people are gonna send me lots of messages. <laughs> I remember what I used for the other creature. Did I use a pencil for that one? I'm kind of loving it already. Cute little creature. And I know this isn't the right way to do the antennas because they kind of look more like feathers than anything, but I, I just love this kind of style, so that's what I'm going for. I was thinking of giving those little things coming out on, of the back, but I don't know, I might be too busy to do that. I think I'm gonna switch over to overhead view now, so that you guys can see that. Alright, we're back to the overhead view, I hope you guys like this one. Also, let me know if you like the side angle. I know it can be a bit annoying if you want to see the whole drawing, but I thought it would be nice for people who want to see some of the line art. It wouldn't be the whole whole uh, thing in that angle, but at least it's cool with a little bit. These scales are just really fun to draw. <laughs> they're just like little round butts. And then this way going up back. Then we go up here. Hey. Ta da! Little cute that day. I might add more textures later on top of the scales. 
but I feel like that can wait until um, we got the colors down. <laughs> little baby! Okay, now we're gonna do some watercolour and now I can talk a little bit more. I don't know how much of that I left in, but you'll see. This is my trusty tiny one. My little tiny palette. I'm using this a lot today and this month because of Mermaid. But yeah, this one fits in frames so you guys can see what I'm actually doing. And I think that's quite nice if you're wondering how I do watercolour. And I also have my trusty little Van Gogh uh, brush. It's like a collapsible one, so it fits perfectly in my little palette. And uh, highly recommend it if you want to travel with watercolor. First off, I need to clean this. Just do that with water. Just know I'm going to use a lot of purple. Well, magenta, so we'll put a bit there. Alright, let's see what colors we got in <laughs> the different animals. I think I'm gonna go for a wash that is pink to yellow because I think I want golden scales on the back. Just because the uh, pangolin is kind of golden and I think I'm gonna have a dark golden versus white going here. Because I think it would make sense if you're looking at top and this guy is kind of like snooping around in, on the, like, the, the floor of the lake, then it would want to be camouflaged. So from the top down it would look like mud or just like brown. So I'm going to start with a nice magenta wash all the way from the tip of the nose backwards. And that's going to be like... The white. Then I'm gonna add in some yellow ochre. It's kind of like my favorite colors. So I'm gonna add that to the back. Like so. Probably shouldn't do washes on this kind of paper because it might not do very well. But it's been holding up, so I'm going to try it. I'm also going to make the ends of the feet and stuff a darker color, like the raccoon, just because I really like it. Like for the creature card, I already know the background. That's how far I am <laughs> in the design of this guy. Making the stripes and the wash as well. Just because it's fun. You can see it's kind of buckling. Um, but it has dried flat before. I guess I used a little bit too much water. That's okay. And I think next step is to do... Um, scales, maybe? So let's use the yellow ochre. And some of this brown. It looks like... When I'm looking at the pangolin, the tips of the scales are lighter. And then... The one that comes from here and out is darker, so I am going to try and just mimic that. Also, I would recommend you guys, if you want to hang out with me more, go to my Twitch and you can follow. I'm trying to stream every Monday... Wednesday and Friday so then you can come and ask me any questions you like and just hang out We have a lot of fun uh, and currently I'm just doing a lot of mermaid stuff and uh, people seem to be enjoying that very much so Come and say hi <laughs> I think I'm gonna make the ones Over the head kind of darker more like a grayish. I also really like this the speckles that some of the axe model has, like freckles. So I'm gonna make everything that's on the face kind of that color. But it kind of fades into this golden color, so it doesn't hurt putting that down first. What if this guy is like a little um, companion or something to mermaids? Mm, I'm gonna try and make this darker by adding more pigments. 
That is what I'm talking about. Should probably add more of that going down here. Just a little bit more diluted. I'm gonna fix his eyes as well at some point. Right now they look completely white, but they are going to be like dark, nice dark brown black. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to adding like the really red mm, antennas, is that what you would call it? <laughs> I was tempted to use it on the tip of his nose as well, but I think I will just maybe make that just pink with the antennas. Just to make the, the main focus of the creature towards the face, because right now it's like all over the place. Um, but if I put, when I put like the pink on this ear things, <laughs> it will just move the focus a little bit. I'm just making all the tips really, 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 really dark. Just pure color. And I'm gonna add that to the tip of the nose as well, I think. If I don't like this, I can always just add some dark to it. It'll be kind of fine. I'm quite liking him. And I think what I need to do now is just to add some shading so where I push the colors back. Though it doesn't really matter that much since I'm going to add it like edit everything digitally but I still feel like doing it there we go cutie pie okay for the shading I am going to use a purple but mixed with blue I should I, I should dilate it quite a lot because I don't want too strong of a color this will kind of mess with your original colors, so I wouldn't recommend it if that's not what you want. But I just want this shading kind of here. I always love to shade with purple, I just think it works really nicely. It's not just like blue or grey, it has some sort of like depth to it and I like it. Ta -da! He looks really cute, I'm really, really, really pleased with this guy. I'm thinking about like adding some sort of gradient here maybe just to because he looks like a bit bold All right, so I'm going to let this dry for a little bit I think I'll try going over it with some sort of color pencil because I just enjoy it and uh, also a black pen just to enhance some of my line work which disappears um, as you can see like the, the pencil kind of mutes down quite a lot when you use watercolor. It doesn't really muddy up my colors that much, it's just, um, it just disappears. <laughs> okay, I think it's alright. I'm just gonna move this out of the way. My room is a mess right now. You should be so happy you can't see it. <laughs> so here uh, are my colored pencils. I just want to use some gold and stuff to just enhance my my gold scales. I'm not gonna use very much of it actually. I don't think I need it. But there's just some colors that I felt was really cool. They kind of disappeared um, after the color dried. That's the thing with yellow ochre. I love it, but it does dry very uh, muted compared to what I want. So this is the way I make my watercolors kind of get the vibrancy that I wanted it to have. And then I will add some darker brown purple to just do some of the scales because why not, right? Mm, that might have been a mistake. <laughs> I think I should have a more gray brown somewhere. <laughs> yeah, boy, that helped a lot. Okay, cool. 
Cool. We're saved. <laughs> the paper's curling, but we're saved. And then, I think... I also have a brown ink pen that I'm going to use. That is like a brush pen, but not quite a brush pen. So I'm going to use that as well for the scales. And... Like I'm thinking about this part here, which is the shadow part of like that tail. But I don't really have anything else in the grey. I kind of feel like that's too dark. So. I think it's cool. I think I'm gonna just go with ink. I think I'm done with the pencils. So I have this brown one. I think it's a touch, it says touch Pentel sign pen. Uh -huh. That's what it says and it's like brown and has like sparkles on it. So it's cool But it's not waterproof <laughs> I know this because I tried it before <laughs> If you ever wonder what kind of materials I use, please check the description box. And I usually do write them there. If I haven't, then you can comment and yell at me. <laughs> I feel like I could have done something more interesting. The scales. Like, maybe something fin-like or just something. Right now it just feels like a pangolin on the water. Hmm. I don't know. I quite like it. There we go. That's the finished creature design for this month, May. And this will be made into a creature card, which means that I will take this, put it in Photoshop, and digitally edit and add a background so it kind of looks like a Pokemon card. And my patrons will get that. And if you want to get that and actually open for 50 new uh, Patreon slots for that tier so uh, go over to my Patreon if you want that and if you sign up before the end of May so first before the 1st of June you will get the creature card and we also have this sticker ready and I'm pretty sure the postcard will be some sort of mermaid and the theme is forgotten gods so it's gonna be really interesting doing that one and I think that will be next week's video so you stay tuned but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this creature design video yet again I love doing these they're so much fun and I just just purely enjoy doing these I hope you guys enjoyed remember to do all these in Instagram handles and Twitter handles if you want to show me your creature design if I miss them it's either because my Instagram is stupid and doesn't want to show all of them or it's because you didn't do it right <laughs> it's either or and if I miss it I'm so sorry I will try and get everyone but sometimes I can't so that is it for this week thank you guys so much for joining and I will see you in a second for some more creature features and uh, next week for another video. Thank you guys so much for watching, bye bye! And here are all the entries from last month's creature design. It was a, oh my god, what was it? A bat, a mantis shrimp, and a vaquita. Yes, and there were so many entries. I had to go through all of Instagram trying to find all of them. I do occasionally miss them. It might be because it's not tagged, uh, not have the right hashtags. I'm so sorry if I miss them, but oh my god, look at all these crazy designs. Of course, it would be crazy with the, that animal combination, but this is insane. I love all of them. Thank you guys so much for entering and I hope that you pause it and follow the people that you want to follow or you see yourself and you feel happy and <laughs> I hope we can do this next time as well. Um, and then in about four weeks I will do the other one for this video and I will, I'm very excited to see what you guys can come up with the, with the same animals. So that's all. I'm gonna let this roll and I will see you guys next week. Bye bye!